Okay, this is Vern from TechRect. A few years ago, Apple decided to finally replace some of their screens that were dissolving. You know, there was a coating, an anti-reflective coating on the MacBook Pros, and I believe the MacBook Airs had it as well, uh, that just started to dissolve into nothing. Uh, the effect that it had on your screen is that it made your screen look like someone stuck heavy heavy masking tape all over your screen and then ripped it off and the glue still remained. I mean, that's what it basically looked like, just horrible. Uh, so it, it wasn't anti-reflective anymore. It wasn't any good. And uh, people were angry. I mean, I was I was super angry. The problem was with me... I had a 2013 MacBook Pro, 13 inch, and I had closed my lid one time with a pen inside and somehow the pen angled up and actually cut into the screen and, and left like a little hole, not like a hole, but like a, like you could tell it was jabbed into the screen and pulled back out. So I had that mark on the screen and they wouldn't replace my screen. Because I have this mark and my entire display was wrecked with this stupid problem of theirs, uh, they said they wouldn't replace it because I had a pre-existing condition. It wasn't pre-existing. The, the screen started to fall apart well before I, I stabbed the screen, but it didn't matter to them. And they, they didn't know who to believe anyway. And, they, and what kind of policy is that when you have a problem with your screen that you caused, a, a jab in the screen, the screen still worked fine. And then on top of that, you have their problem, and then they won't replace it because you already had another problem. Come on, Apple. That sucks. You guys, you guys have your head up your ass, you know, on a lot of different issues. The keyboard for one, the uh, headphone jack for another. I mean, <laughs> should we start listing them off? And you're, and you're continually having major problems where you, like, look at the problem and you uh, try to assess, oh, should we replace it or not? You damn well should. Anyway, take my computer to be fixed and find out they're not going to fix it. They call Apple headquarters. This is some Australian guy here in Thailand. But uh, called Apple headquarters. They said, oh, no, we're not fixing it. You ha already have something wrong. So what? Replace the damn screen. You screwed it up anyway. You know? Anyway, so that was my 2013 Uh I got this idea. Finally, it was so bad I couldn't really use it. I was like, what the hell? I took a razor blade, flat razor, one of those flexible ones, and I started to scrape a little bit just to see what happened. It scraped right off, and it made it clean underneath. And I was like, really? Do I really want to do this? And then I was like, yeah, I guess I want to do it because what is the alternative? I have, I have, a, I have a screen that's like 15% of what it used to be. I took that razor and I scraped, and I'll show you in the video, I scraped the entire screen, <clears throat> uh, my new screen. This is a 2015. The 2013 was already dead. Daughter spilled a Coke in the uh, keyboard. It died shortly after. So whatever on that. That's, this is the, that's the one that I show you I'm scraping because it's still really quite bad. Uh, but I scraped my new one, my 2015, it was new back then. I scraped that one clean with the razor and I used it, I've been using it since. I haven't replaced it yet. I'm, I'm gonna get the uh, MacBook Air M2 this year, uh, next couple weeks probably. But yeah, it's been working fine since then. Is it perfect? No. Is it 80% uh, better than it used to be with the, with the screen falling apart, the flaking off? Yes. So, if you have the same issue, um, if you, or even if you don't feel like taking your computer to Apple to have it fixed, fix a, fixing the screen, maybe your computer is old or whatever, uh, it only affected certain years and, and um, years, uh, then I think you should do it. It's not difficult. You just take a simple uh, razor that you fit into those, those manual razors that you close, like you can close it shut, it grabs the razor. Then it has a uh, razor on both sides, and you can shave like that. Uh, the metal, the heavy metal razors, right? The old style, like your dad might have had or grandfather, grandfather or something. Go ahead and do it. Go about it easily. Don't push too hard. Just gently. 
uh, with the razor, don't use big mark, big swipes like this to clean it. That's what I did, and I scraped, I uh, scratched the screen. The computer's already dead, so it didn't matter. But with your screen, it probably matters. So <laughs> take just just do real short, like three quarter inch scrapes like this, gentle, and watch this stuff fall off. Uh, cover your computer first, of course, with a shirt or something to to collect all that that whatever it is screen coating. Uh, so it doesn't get into your keyboard. It doesn't get into the vent behind uh, behind the keyboard underneath the uh, display. Okay, hope that helps somebody. It nobody told me this. This I just found out by myself. Never found it on any uh, tech website or anything. I just got frustrated and I was like, damn, maybe it just scrapes off. You have to be careful though because it's a plastic screen, right? It isn't glass. Glass would make it much easier. You could push a little harder and really clean it perfectly well, right? Uh, no, this is plastic and it gives a little bit. So if you do push too hard, you're going to scrape it. You're going to you're gonna, uh, kind of slice the screen like I did. You'll see in the video. But uh, yeah, I was just going crazy just, for, just to show you how to do it. And I think I showed you too much. Uh, I was doing uh, strokes like this this much to, to clean it off. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Just use short ones and you'll be fine. I was fine with my first one. All right. Hope that helps. Cheers.